This podcast is sponsored by God Save the Tea. Check them out on Facebook, YouTube, and TikTok for your daily tea and daily shade. Find the link in the description below. Well, hello everyone, it's Craig and I'm back with another episode of God Save the Tea. So of course, we're going to be talking about All Star 7, as we like to call it, it's the All Winners season. So let's start off and get right into it. This episode, we're going to be talking about the Queen's promo looks, their workroom looks and how this season is going to work because there's some changes. It's not like the other seasons because, of course, we are dealing with winners of All-Stars UK and US as well. So all winners on this one. So, of course, we know it airs on the 13th of March, Friday, of course. And the queens that we have, we have All-Stars winner f- from season five, Shea Coulet. We have Evie Oddly. We have uh, All-Stars season four winner, Money Exchange. All-Stars season four winner, Trinity. We've got, all, uh, sorry, not all stars, season five, Jinx. We've got season 12 winner, Jada. Season three, Raja. And of course, UK season one, The Vivian. So we're going to jump straight into it. I'm not going to beat around the bush. I might get some hate for this, but as I say, these are my views and what I think of uh, this so far. So let's uh, get started, shall we? So Evie Oddly's look, I got it on the promo so we're talking about promos here so what we saw on uh, tiktok they didn't really release a full promo look yet um i don't know if they're going to the released mini ones on uh, tiktok which the theme was dripping with jewels so evie of these i got it i liked it but i didn't get the fur the fur didn't make sense to me she looked stunning the jewels were there but it didn't read dripping for me It was just the fur didn't look in the right place. It didn't look right to me. It didn't read with the Dripping with Jewels theme. We'll then move on to Shea Coulee. I love this look. This gave me like geode sort of look with the crystals exploding from her shoulders. And that dress, it was literally absolutely dripping. Right. This one might get a little bit of hate, but we'll see. It, Manate Exchange, I liked it. I really did like it, but it didn't seem like it was fitting. It looked like it was thrown together very last minute. And it, it it was nice, don't get me wrong. It was nice. It was a lovely look. It read dripping with jewels, but it just seemed very lazy. It didn't seem like there was any thought put into it. It just looked like a coat covered in jewels and yeah, that sort of thing. Whereas Trinity's look... I absolutely love this look. We can't really expect anything else from Trinity. She, we know she's very polished. We know that she likes to present herself in a certain way. And the theme and where she went with this look was amazing. It was dripping with jewels. It just, it was pure, pure Trinity. Jinx. So let's get on to Jinx. I get it. It read very wedding dress for me, but it didn't read dripping in jewels. I got it. She had rhinestones in certain places, but it wasn't dripping with jewels for me. So for me, that wasn't really very good. I'm sorry, Jinx. I love you, but it just didn't read dripping in jewels for me. Jada. I just love it. I absolutely love, love, love this look. Of course, Jada. Everything went well with her skin tone. It was crystal. It was clear. It was precise. And it read dripping with jewels again. Right, Raja, let's do this one. We know Raja's a fashion queen. We know she likes, she loves her runway. She loves her fashion. It was dripping in jewels, but my one critique for this was there was too many different jewels, sequins, rhinestones. It was all very mismatched in what uh, the jewels were. I didn't get the sequins because to me, sequins don't represent jewels. So I like the look, don't get me wrong. I really, really loved the look, but it didn't read Dripping in Jewels. It did to a certain extent, but when you look into the fine detail that uh, the sequence, it was the sequence, I'm sorry. It was the big R sequence. They did not read Dripping in Jewels for me. I love you, Raja, but sorry. Then we got to the Vivian. 
Everyone knows that I love the Vivian's bits. I absolutely idolize Vivian. I followed her for years. I, I've watched her progress and grow, and it's just such an amazing transformation over all these years of watching her. But there is a but. I loved, loved, loved the outfit. The outfit was amazing. It was dripping in jewels, as always. It was fitting. It was lovely. The one thing I didn't get was the wig. The wig didn't make sense. I don't know if it's just me not reading it right, but a foam, it looked like the foam sort of wigs that are out there that was rhinestoned, and it didn't read right for me. I don't know if it's just me. Let me know below if I'm just reading it wrong, but the wig didn't fit the outfit. I would have liked something different. I don't know what I would have liked. <laughs> I won't lie. I don't know what I'd like, but it just didn't sit right. It just didn't look in place. But I feel really bad because I love the Vivian and the look was amazing. It was just the wig that didn't win it for me. So workroom entrances. Shay, we'll go straight into workroom entrances. Shay Calais. I loved that look. It was giving me like the little handheld mirror was giving me orange because it looked like orange segments on it. The whole look was orange. It get, gave me oranges the new black, which I think she was going for. I may be wrong. I may be wrong completely. And that tagline. Oh, I didn't think I needed an introduction. Love it. Absolutely love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Jada Essence Hall. I loved that rhinestone. It was rhinestone rocker sort of chick sort of look. And I absolutely loved it. The red hair is something different that we haven't, I don't think we've seen from Jada, but that red hair actually really, really suited her and it went really, really well. So for me, I loved that look. It was perfect. It was polished. Didn't quite get her tag tagline, I'm back. It's like she didn't think she was going to come back or she didn't want to come back. But overall, the workroom entrance look was absolutely phenomenal. Let's get into it then. So next one is Evie. So the coat, the purple, loved it. Absolutely amazing. The one thing I didn't get was the leotard, you want to call it, that yellow leotard. It, it didn't make sense to me. It didn't fit with the look. It was just like an underthought. If It was like last minute sort of thing. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Oh, I put a yellow leotard underneath. It didn't read in with the look. I got she had yellow, other yellow things on the outfit. But it just seemed half arsed to me. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm going to say. But of course, that laugh, everyone loves Evie, Evie Oddly's laugh. It's just infectious, isn't it? You just got to love it. It's amazing. I loved the look, but it was just the yellow le leotard. It didn't do it for me. And Trinity, the purple look with uh, the, I want to call them, I don't even know what you call them, like the strap, the yellow boob straps. Loved that with the feathers at the bottom of the dress. Looked amazing. We wouldn't really expect anything else from Trinity, would we? But to me, that look, it's pure Trinity. It's pure polish. But the tagline, we've heard it before. Body, 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 yoddy, yoddy is back. I swear she's used that once or twice or three times but i would expect a new tagline from her i really would i would have preferred a better tagline but yeah i i, I love the look i love the entrance i will leave that at, at there so monet exchange the flannel look i loved it i loved how the boots tied in with the top and everything looked right there's a few slight details i don't know if it was meant to look like that but on the fabric on the top of her shoulders, you could see it fraying. It didn't bother me. I noticed it. It didn't bother me. It looked into look because the, drink, the, je the short jeans were ripped. So it sort of worked, but it sort of didn't. But let's talk about tagline. Tagline, wouldn't expect anything different from an exchange. But girl, come on. You've seen queens in previous season use money guns, and we all know it works. This is the curse of the money gun. Girls, please don't use money guns. We know they're going to fail. At least one of them worked, and at least they both didn't fail, I guess. But we know money guns have failed in previous. Don't use them anymore. It doesn't work. It's not going to work, is it really? 
But love the look, couldn't really fault it. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing her on this season. Let's talk about Jinx then, shall we? So Jinx, of course, is next. Uh, oh, Jinx, 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 Jinx. I love Jinx. I loved her on her season. But this work from entrance look, we've seen it before. It read very basic night, like a nightgown sort of thing, like 60s, 70s look. I know that's her aesthetic. I get it. But you would have thought being All-Star Season 7, All-Winner sort of season, that we would have seen a little bit of something more elevated with the workroom. I loved it. <laughs> but her, her tagline got me. Line! <laughs> like, she forgot her line. Amazing. I loved it. I just didn't like the workroom look. I really didn't. It. I was expecting something different. I wanted more from her. But hopefully she shows us more throughout the season, that she's developed and got better. I still love her. She still looks amazing, but sorry, girl, that work from entrance, it didn't do it for me. So Raja, we all know that she is a fashion queen, a runway queen. And do you know what? Through her season, I didn't quite get her. I won't lie. I didn't get her. But this look, oh, excuse me. This look was amazing. I loved it. It was very fitting. It was very fashion, very eleganza extravaganza and i loved the way that the headpiece was a nod to her signature entrance look with the eye if you look closely that the top part is shaped like an eye and her face is the iris it really worked it really went well um and i loved it tagline was good and that so the vivian last entrance look of course last one to enter the room having a uk queen on an all-star season this is going to be good. I'm looking forward to this. We know Viv very well. And uh, I think, I hope she's going to slay. I really hope she's going to slay. But as I said before, I'm a bit biased to this because I love the Viv with all my heart. I think she's amazing. And I love this look. Now, girls, Michelle reads everyone for wearing pants on the wrong way. But do you know what? Viv pulled this off. 150% the pants were fitted they were worn right they didn't look manly they looked absolutely perfect and the way it tied in with her top gray and black corset with the sleeves arms I loved the hair and her tagline I loved the way that she played into the British humor feeling horny she kept it to the walls the British humor how we love it so I have high high hopes for Viv I really 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 do and I'm looking forward to seeing how the Viv interacts with the US Queens. That's going to be interesting because we all know that US drag compared to UK drag is slightly different. It's getting more the similar, the same now, but our humor and the way the Americans have humor is slightly different. So I'm really intrigued and really excited to see how Viv works into the US scene. So that could be fun. It would be nice as well to see how they all interact, of course, because they're all winners. So this is going to be fun to talk about all winner season. There has been some uh, changes to the format. So there's a lot of changes this season in regards to format. So normally it's the top two lip, lip sync for their legacy, and then they vote off a queen to be eliminated. So this season, let's start off, shall we? So we know that there is more than eight episodes. Sorry, more than six episodes, shall I say. One of them includes a sewing challenge and there's a ball as well. So the way the system's going to work this time is, so the top two will, of course, lip sync for their legacy. But this is now based on a star slash point system. So Queens will be awarded points based on uh, the lip sync. But they're awarded stars as well. But what happens is the winner of the lip sync is going to be able to block another queen from receiving stars the next week. So say, for example, Monet Exchange wins a lip sync and she thinks uh, Jinx is competition. So she could theoretically block Jinx from receiving stars next week, which could be interesting. Are they going to play a game? Are they going to be fair? Is there going to be an alliance? Is there not? This could be fun. We know some of the points already. I'm not going to receive reveal them because of course we don't want to spoil much for you uh so each week top two get to, top two queens get one star each the lip sync is then blocks a certain queen from getting stars the following week 
Throughout the season, two random stars are given for no reason, and the last challenge is worth three stars. From what we know, all queens do extremely well and have amazing runways. There's little drama during this season, which I'm going to be quite surprised about. Um, there is an alliance, and there is going to be a twist at the end as well. So this all looks like it's going to be fun. There's loads of things happening. There's Snatch game where apparently more than one queen plays a male character. There's so much going on that there's uh, some really good theme challenges in there as well. Like uh, we have got, so let's have a look what we've got. We've got Knight of a Thousand Dolly Partons. We've got uh, Crowning Runway, so showing that they're a winner and things like that. So this could be good. It could be very, very good. And uh, I'm looking forward to this season. It's going to be interesting to see how the, all the winners do. Of course, they've all won and things like that. Like the other runways there are is a Knitted Challenge, Crown Queen, 3 and 1, Pleather, Light Up and Spikes. That's some of the challenges out there as well as Balls. So this could be fun. And of course, I think from what we've seen on Reddit, uh, that uh, the first one, of course, will be Talent, hopefully. That, that hasn't been confirmed, but that's what we've been told. That uh, it is a talent show for the first runway. So that could be interesting to see what the queens do as well. I'm really, really looking forward to this season. And I can't wait to see how this plays out. Especially that no queens are getting eliminated. So we're going to see every single one for the full season. Which is going to be fantastic as well. So we don't lose anyone. Which is amazing. So what I want to know from you as well. It's who are you rooting for? If you're watching this on YouTube or Facebook, drop a comment below. Let me know who are you rooting for? Who, who are you hoping to take the crown? Or who are you excited to see? I just need to give a quick shout out as well to one of our admins, Stephen. If it weren't for him, none of this tea, none of this shade, none of this information would be given to us. He is what I like to call our squirrel of Reddit. He finds everything out and lets us all know. So Stephen, thank you for doing an amazing job and keep it up. As I say, I'll be back next week uh, to talk about some more. It might not be about uh, All-Star Season 7 because we've got some new drag franchises in the work. We've got some new seasons, so I'm going to spill some tea on that next week, who we think is going to be in them, um, because we've still got about two weeks to go before this season starts to air. But uh, May 17th, sorry, May 13th, did I say? I believed. Let me just double check my notes, shall I? Yeah, sorry, May, March, April. Yeah, May. <laughs> I had to think that May 13th is the air date. So about two weeks left to go before we get into this season. But there's some other seasons in the work as well. But I will release that scene next week. Until next time, it's been amazing. As I said, drop your comments down below. And don't forget to follow us on God Save the Tea on Facebook, YouTube, and of course, TikTok. And I'll see you next week. And let's wait for this season. Bye now.